Hey guys, Dragon Sheep here. You may or may not know this, but I had several My Little Pony phases in my life, and more than a few OCs from these times to show for it. I thought I would give three of the most memorable a revamp, and I want them to look like a mixture of the MLP art style with mine. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I pulled it off. Here we go. I don't have any old art or references to show you for this first character because 13 year old me was extremely meticulous in destroying all evidence of her existence. I thought it was fatally embarrassing to like a show targeted at my exact age and demographic, and as such, I would draw, memorize, and expunge ponies like it was the Cold War and I was an operative in Soviet frickin' Russia. But joke's on you, buckaroo, cause you can't erase your own mind! I remember a light purple teal-maned half-bat pony daughter of Princess Luna Alicorn Edge Salad Sandwich, and it's time to bring her into the light! Everyone meet Darkstar. She's pretty true to the what I remember of the original, but I changed the hair up, added some spiffy accessories, and changed the eye color. I also replaced her weird hoof talons with some Philly Kruger blades. You know, Luna does have dream visiting capabilities, and Star could definitely take this into the serial killing direction because she's so misunderstood. Hmm. Moving on, we have one of my most developed OCs, Night Owl. With her shady past, she really puts the sus in Pegasus. She was found as a filly in the Everfree Forest with her wings clipped, and when they grew back, they were discolored, which suggests spooky magic and someone wanting her dead. Ooh. She was then adopted by the Apple family and raised as an earth pony before getting a job in the Royal Guard. For Princess Luna, of course. I actually started to write the first chapter of a story on her on a fandom wiki, but I don't remember what happens now. Oopsie. In the end, I made her overall less yellow, uh, the main less of a rainbow dash recolor, and changed the cutie mark a bit. Lastly, we have Kitan the Changeling. She was created back before changelings looked like that. And while I prefer the old designs, it was really hard to give a character of one distinguishing features, so her entire design basically consisted of changeling with headphones. What were these headphones for, you say? Sending messages to the queen? Flexing her mad DJ skills? Drowning out her existential dread? Who even knows? But they are a permanent part of her design, and now I can actually make her a different color, yay! Chitin was loyal to Queen Chrysalis for trying to find a sustainable energy source for the Hive, and she would probably appreciate that one has been found, but wouldn't exactly be open to friendship from everyone, especially old enemies. And that got me thinking, what would a changeling look like if it came out a little half-baked? Like, if they were selective about who they shared love with. That was what I tried to do with her design in the end. She has bright colors, but she kept her sharp teeth and web mane, and has a hole in her horn that she put a piercing through. I also noticed some of the changelings had these crystals on them, and I was like, hmm, those are mildly eye-shaped. Let's make them eyes now, for reasons. That's basically my thought process when making any character, honestly. And I'm done! I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time!